Good morning. Today we will be discussing on isoflurane. Introduction. Isoflurane is substantially cheaper than sevoflurane, up to 10 times cheaper. However, it is superseded by sevoflurane in most anesthetic machines, except in departments where cost-cutting measures in drug budgets are prioritized. It is not unequivocally better than sevoflurane. Isoflurane is an isomer of enflurane synthesized in 1965. It is introduced in 1980 due to earlier erroneous reports of hepatic carcinogenicity in mice. Physical chemical characteristics Isoflurane is a halogenated chlorofluorocarbon with a chemical name of 1-chloro-222-trifluoroethyl difluoromethyl ether, simple formula of C3H2F5O. It is stored as a liquid. It is colorless, volatile, has a slight pungent odor, and it is stored without preservatives. It is 7.5 times denser than air, has a molecular weight of 184.5. It does not react with metal. However, it dissolves certain plastics, such as those in certain syringes. It is non-corrosive and non-flammable in clinical concentrations. Boiling point is 49 degrees Celsius. Saturated vapor pressure at 20 degrees Celsius is 33 kPa or 250 mmHg. Blood gas partition coefficient is 1.4. Oil gas partition coefficient is 97. MAC50 in children is 1.6 to 1.8% in oxygen. In young adults, it is 1.28% in oxygen and 0.56% in nitrous oxide. In elderly patients more than 60 years old, the MAC50 is 1.05% in oxygen. Metabolism is 0.2%. Mechanism of action. Site of action is at the pre- and postsynaptic membrane, axons and synapses, and the central neuraxial level, brain and spinal cord. Volatile anesthetic agents are potent agonists at GABA-A receptors and glycine receptors. Inhibition of the function of these postsynaptic ligand-gated ion channels result in hyperpolarization of the synaptic membrane. By increasing the chloride conductance and thus neuronal discharge is inhibited. Volatile anesthetic agents inhibit ion channel activity by being presynaptic antagonists at serotoninergic receptors, glutaminergic receptors, and nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. At the spinal cord level, Volatile anesthetic agents diminish nociceptive efferents ascending to the thalamocortical tract. At the supraspinal level, hypnosis occurs due to the influences of volatile anesthetic agents at the thalamus and reticular formation in the midbrain. Pharmacokinetics Uptake and distribution Alveolar arterial concentrations equilibrate quickly with inspired concentrations due to isoflurane's low blood gas partition coefficient of 1.4. By 4 to 8 minutes, alveolar arterial partial pressure of isoflurane increases to 50% of the inspired partial pressure. By 15 minutes, the alveolar arterial partial pressure of isoflurane increases to 60% of the inspired partial pressure. This is a graph of the ratio of alveolar FA to inspired FI, fractional concentration of nitrous oxide, desflurane, sevoflurane, isoflurane, enflurane, and halothane in the first 30 minutes of anesthesia. This plot expresses the rapidity of which alveolar concentration equilibrates with inspired concentration. It is most rapid for agents with low blood gas partition coefficient such as nitrous oxide and desflurane. Due to the pungency of isoflurane, the rate of inhalational induction is delayed Inhalational induction has a similar speed compared with halothane. Incidence of cough breath holding is more frequent with isoflurane compared with halothane and thus isoflurane is not ideal for inhalational induction. The rate of recovery of isoflurane anesthesia is slower than desflurane, slower than sevoflurane and faster than halothane. This graph shows the rapidity of recovery from anesthesia of halothane, isoflurane, sevoflurane, and desflurane, and it is inversely proportional to the blood gas solubility of the anesthetic. 
the least soluble anesthetic produces the most rapid recovery. The difference in recovery times of different anesthetic agents is amplified by the duration of anesthesia. Metabolism 0.17% of the absorbed dose of isoflurane is metabolized. Oxidation of isoflurane produces difluoromethanol, which breaks down to formic acid and fluoride. Oxidation of isoflurane also produces trifluoroacetic acid. There are no evidence that these metabolites have deleterious effects. Pharmacodynamics Central nervous system Isoflurane is a hypnotic agent for induction and maintenance of general anesthesia. It has vasodilatory effects. At low concentrations of isoflurane, there are no changes in cerebral blood flow and normal captia. It is superior to halothane, which causes cerebral vasodilation. Higher concentrations of isoflurane increases cerebral vasodilation and cerebral blood flow. There is decreased cerebral metabolism, decreased cerebral perfusion pressure due to isoflurane's cardiodepressant effects. It is dose-dependent. There is decreased cerebral oxygen consumption. Isoflurane is non-epileptogenic. It has anti-convulsant effects. Isoflurane uncouples the relationship between cerebral blood flow and PaCO2. Neuroprotection occurs via a process similar to ischemic preconditioning. Isoflurane causes dose-dependent depression of EEG. There are no excitatory effects on the EEG. Isoflurane has poor analgesic properties. Isoflurane is widely used in neurosurgery. Respiratory system. There is decreased alveolar ventilation, decreased tidal volume and increased respiratory frequency. Isoflurane is irritant to the airways compared with sevoflurane. There is increased secretions coughing, breath-holding, apnea, and laryngospasm. Isoflurane reduces bronchial muscle tone. There is increased PaCO2 due to increased respiratory rate, increased dead space ventilation, and decreased sensitivity of chemoreceptors to PaCO2. Cardiovascular system. Isoflurane acts both as a vasodilator, which decreases systemic vascular resistance and as a myocardial depressant, which reduces cardiac output and mean arterial pressure. Decrease in mean arterial pressure is secondary to decreased systemic vascular resistance by the vasodilatory effects of isoflurane. There is decreased cardiac output, but cardiac output is relatively well maintained over the normal anesthetic maintenance doses of isoflurane. There is less depression of cardiac output than with halothane and plurine sevoflurane, and desflurane. Compensatory tachycardia due to decreased systemic vascular resistance occurs. Overall, there is decreased myocardial oxygen consumption. Systemic hypotension occurs predominantly due to decrease in systemic vascular resistance. This graph shows changes in systemic vascular resistance in healthy volunteers for nitrous oxide, halothane, sevoflurane, and fluorine desflurane and isoflurane, and this graph shows changes in mean arterial pressure in healthy volunteers for inhalational anesthetic agents. Coronary steel syndrome is a theoretical concern that isoflurane-induced coronary vasodilation diverts blood away from stenotic areas of coronary circulation, which are unable to vasodilate. This is thought not to occur in humans. Production of myocardial ischemia during isoflurane anesthesia can be caused by other factors such as isoflurane-induced hypotension, accompanying reflex tachycardia, increased left ventricular and diastolic pressure, and reduced ventricular compliance. Sevoflurane, in contrast, does not cause tachycardia or any local abnormalities of myocardial perfusion. Isoflurane is minimally arrhythmogenic, there is minimal sensitization of the myocardium to catecholamines. Cardioprotection occurs via a mechanism similar to ischemic preconditioning. Musculoskeletal system. There is dose-dependent depression of neuromuscular transmission. Potentiation of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers occurs. Isoflurane is a trigger agent for malignant hyperpyrexia. Nausea vomiting is uncommon. 
there is dose dependent decrease in hepatic blood flow secondary to isoflurane's cardiovascular depressant effects. Isoflurane has negligible effects on renal physiology. The small amount of fluoride ions from its metabolism reaches only 5 to 10 micromoles per liter even after several mac hours of exposure. There is dose dependent decrease in uterine tone and decrease in intraocular pressure. As a summary, Isoflurane provides rapid recovery, minimal biotransformation and toxicity. Isoflurane has very low risk of arrhythmias and provides muscle relaxation. Disadvantages The pungent odor of isoflurane makes it not suitable for inhalational anesthesia, especially in children. These are my references. Thank you.